Hey guys, they're gonna be here with 31 here. Uh, what I have here is a Recon CS6 and all the attachments to it. But uh, this is another how-to video. I recently did a how-to video on how to become a Nerf uh, Grenadier. I call it gren Grenader, but then I realized that I don't know how to spell Grenader, so I just put Grenadier. So either way it works, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, what I have here are like two 18 yard clips that are not filled up yet, and a recon gun, assault rifle thing. What I'm going to do for a how to video is uh, yes, this is from a video game. Not Team Fortress 2, though. So I'm off that for a little bit. Uh, it, this is from Battlefield 3. And yes, it's Battlefield 3, so what? Anyway, what I have here. Let me get that in. The reason why I have the 18 dark clip in is, well, you need a lot of ammo. And since this gun is okay, I guess, you need uh, you need as many shots as you want. So, <clears throat> what I have here is a Recon CS6, 18 dark clip, two of them, is a recommendation, I think. It's not like a, a mandatory thing. You can have as many 18 dark clips as you want. You can even have six dark clips. I don't care what you do with them. Just... Uh, this is like a recommendation to start with, two dark, two 18 dark clips, giving about 36 darts total. Anyway, getting to the details, the Praxis stock, making it the perfect perfect assault rifle. Uh, I don't know where I put the element scope to make it uh, like an official machine gun or official assault rifle, but this is the best I can do. Uh, what else? Uh, here's the other clip. Okay, from Battlefield 3, you also need a Maverick REV-6. I brought the Maverick back into my videos again, mostly because I've been using the element for most of my guns. and No, most of my uh, how-to videos, that's it. Most of my how-to videos have been using the element e EX-6. So I went with the Maverick this time. Much better. Uh, better performance, I should say. Now, um, what else? The, uh, this gun, plus the element scope, I guess a little laser at the bottom, but not the laser, I guess. Not the laser at all. But, uh, but with the scope, it makes it look like a basic assault rifle. And, uh, another recommendation, you probably, you probably need it, but it's a Stonewall Sword. It's pretty cool. I mean, I've seen a couple of times where, here, okay, stay. Uh, in Call of Duty... Uh, like all the Call of Duty games except to uh, one, two, and three and four, I think they give you they give you the ability to like knife people, sort of like do this to give them a humiliation. And I'm thinking, well, in Call of Duty, they uh, they do the knife, one shot, you're dead with the knife. But in Battlefield, it takes a lot longer to kill your enemy with a knife. So I figured why not put this into the video. So that's the next part. Uh, you can use grenades. I don't care. Well, not real grenades. <laughs> uh, just Nerf grenades. I meant. Um, let's see. You can use Nerf grenades or the la lanyard scatter blast grenade. Either way, uh, you can use either one. And uh, yeah, that's really it. Just cold grenades. Uh, Nerf grenades, I should say. Uh, a Nerf Recon CS6, Recon Barrel, of course, modified a little bit. Praxis Stock, eight t two 18 yard clips for a maximum ammo. A Stonewall Sword for, uh, for like, close quarters combat. A Maverick REV-6 for, uh, like, a, like, a backup weapon. And a 3DS. No, actually, no. No 3DS. I actually got two of them now. Uh... I don't know how to set up my friend code for the second one, but uh, I will set that up eventually. So I'm going to use that as a, you can, sort of like my friends list for uh, Nintendo. So, yeah, that's really it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how to become a basic Nerf Battlefield 3 Trooper. There, I said it perfectly and correctly. So, see you guys later.